So, we have here game number two for Goza League Division 1. We have NextKZ versus MTW, and it's going to be uh, NextKZ on the Radiant side this time, and MTW on the Dire side. Uh, for this team, for this game, unlike game two, we don't have a stand-in for NextKZ, because Mans is... Uh, showed up and is going to be taking that captain slot for next KZ and hopefully will bring us a bit more even game than we saw a previous game where um, MTW just uh, totally ripped next KZ apart. Um, for this game, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I have a co-caster, his name is Tulex, hello, hi. So yeah, Mance is there. So I, I'm really hoping that that was the, the factor that was holding next KZ down, that he wasn't there. Might be true, we'll see about that this game. He might know the MTW picks better as well, so... Yeah, uh, yeah Bans had the same one that we saw banned out last time, uh, the Brood Mother. Mm -hmm. I'm actually expecting a lone Druid ban out as well, in the first Dyer one. Well, they ban out the yeah, Shrek, so... Can... Pushing Hero? They can't afford the lone Druid ban because they are the first pick right now, but they were the second pick last game, so you actually have to ban heroes like Lycanthrope and Darkseer. Yeah, Even Furion. No Lone Druid ban out. Ban. Gonna have an Enchantress uh, ban as well as a uh, as a Lycan and a Darkseer. And that kind of leads me to believe that maybe they will be okay if Lone Druid indeed gets picked up by MTW. Maybe they would be okay with that because they believe they can shut him down enough so that they can finish before he's big. So for him. Well, we, we saw the Lana ban ban by the yeah, MTW last team. game in the second phase. Yeah. So maybe I, I mean next case it is the team who just remaining. goes for crazy picks. So we might see them trying to go for the Lana to Reset counter Silaber slightly. We might see how that works out. And yeah, they, they just banned the Enchantress, so maybe they won the Chen again, and not not having to face the Enchantress this time. And Radiant with the Furion ban, we might uh, as well see the Chen. Or maybe the Wisp was banned last time. There's also CK still in all the good heroes. Yeah, I have seen uh, CKs being used by NextKZ, but the first uh, the first two games that I saw them using the CK uh, with a combination, I think it was, both, uh, it was with an AA, they were not able to take those games. They were just not used to it. Oh. So they, I hope they have practice with that, if they're indeed going to go with that, because that just didn't work out. They are more uh, at peace with the, uh, with the Morphling, if they're going to be able to pick that up again. Yep. Which we will and see. And MTW might... Oh, never mind. Wanted to yeah, say that they might pick. take the Wisp and the CK combination, but they just went for the Enigma, which they love to play. Yeah. And uh, it's, of course, also a, a kind of counter in the Chen. At least uh, you're not going to be out-farmed in the jungle, because Enigma is farming faster than the Chen. Maybe pushing power is a bit less, but still some pushing power there as well. So good hero for them to pick up if they're going to play it in the jungle. And a Chaos Knight. So the combination is not possible anymore for next KZ. They could still go for a Wisp and something other, but Chaos Knight, out of the question. Yeah, they love the Wisp with Ursa as well. Uh, she works out well with Juggernaut as well. Yeah, just those I mean, heavy burst uh, heroes, kind of. I just wanted to say that MTW just loves to play their jungle. They they kind of hate it when they, there's no jungle heroes left, so they needed to pick up the Enigma really fast, since there was no one else left. Yep. Oh, otherwise they would have gone for something, you know, non-controversial, but they don't really do that. They rather go for the safe picks. Safe yep. jungle heroes. And uh, Queen of Pain, Windrunner picked up for next KZ. So two very strong solo lanes for them. And uh, MTW picking up the Invoker in, uh, in answer to that because they need a solo lane as well. So they're going to have that Invoker being played in that mid lane. And they still need one side solo and then a combination with the CK. And then they're set. A bit of a different uh, lineup than the previous time. At least uh, Lone Druid is banned out. So that is something I'm happy about. And uh, Venomancer mm -hmm. as well as a Shadow Demon ban out for next KZ. Two heroes yeah, that work well with the bad. CK, even though I kind of would be expecting a, a separation ban out or a Lina or, you know, something that could go well with, uh, with the CK. Crystal Maiden, for example, unless they want to pick that up for themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, there are just too much supers left to ban them all, and those two bans are great as well. We saw MTW playing Venomancer a lot, as well as the Shadow Demon, True. if they are able to get them. And yeah, just invoke a great pick as well as great synergy with the Chaos Knight. 
this two sun strike into the stun. And if they get the wisp as well, I, I'm not sure if they are familiar with this hero, but if they get the wisp, there's a lot of uh, global ganking coming out of them with the chaos night wisp and the sun strike. Yeah, um, do you really think they would go for that? Because if they do, and I, I, I applaud that because that I like that kind of play, but if they do, that's not really MTW style. Yep. Yeah. It would be an, it would Probably. be interesting, I mean, but it would be yeah, exactly. It would be interesting, but I never saw them play the wisp. So we're first gonna see what next Kazi is gonna go for. I mean, whichever hero they're gonna pick up now is gonna basically give away what kind of combination they wanna go for. And since they banned out the Shadow Demon by themselves already, which is quite a surprising because he makes them for great combinations and also nice to uh, to stop uh, a lot of uh, combinations incoming from MTW if they're actually gonna go for a combination with that CK. Uh, but they kind of banned out themselves, so I'm kind of curious to see what they're gonna go for. Sand King, Sand King Lina, perhaps. Dire team pick. Oh, I'm not exactly sure at this stage, but they need to realize that if they, like, you first pick the Chen, and then you have to take those towers. The thing that happened last game, that they had no pushing power coming along with the Chen, that's just crucial. Yeah, they have the same thing right now again. So we're gonna see. Because if they if they pick up the last one, well, I'm, I'm really not sure. Maybe Mirana or something like that. Mm-hmm. They just need to take those towers on the easy lane if they don't challenge. I mean, the Chan was just wasted last game. He was farming in the woods a bit and tried to do something on the lane, didn't really kill off the lone druid. Nope. And you need to make him work early game if if you, like, first pick that hero. Yeah, no, it looks like I was right. Yay! Lina picked up here for with the CK. It's, yeah. a, good, uh, it's a good combination. Mm -hmm. It's a guaranteed stun and a lot of burst damage, too. It's easy to kill heroes as well as uh, the Queen of Pain and the Vindrana with the stun lock on those two. Yeah, exactly. So, nothing can really stand against that um, early game. Because so far, I mean, MTW, they got a Maleficent, they got a Chaos Bolt, they got Cold Snap, and they got Lina stun. Every single one of those has a Disable, and of course they have a Shackle, but then they have a Slow, and then Chen, yeah, maybe he has a Slow, and of course that maybe you can count the... If the, if he has a center, you can count his stun. But basically, the only solid stun is the Sand King, the only one that's guaranteed to hit, and that might hurt them a lot. Yep. So we're gonna see if they're gonna do something about that with their last pick. But they're going into reserve time. I mean, maybe they were going to go for Lina as well, and then that got totally obliterated because that was might picked up true. by MTW. And maybe MTW I only picked it up because they were expecting maybe next KZ is going to go for Lina. But yeah. Lina fits okay in our lineup as well. So let's go for Lina ourselves. Rana. I was right hmm. again. Damn it. Nice. Oh, good. I mean, they have three, at least four evasive heroes. Like Aside from Chen, there's four escape skills. Or at least four heroes which have escape skills. Yeah. Windrunner, the Blink, the Sandstorm, as well as the Burrow Strike, and the Leap. But there's a lot of stuns upon MTW which can't be evaded with those skills. Like, you, you can jump away from the Vengeful Spirit stun and stuff like that, but you can't really jump from the Cold Snap or the Malefice or the Lina stun. You, you actually can evade the Chaos Knight stun, but it's so, so hard, especially with, like, Queen of Pain. It's almost impossible. It yeah, just Queen of Pain got a too long cast time for that blink to dodge their yep. stun, I believe, because the stun is also so fast from uh, from uh, from the Chaos Bolt. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's it's gonna be really hard for them. Of course, uh, Mirana with Mirana, they also have another stun with the arrow, and she will probably lane with that Sand King. That's like a guaranteed stun on her arrow, so they might be going for some first blood if they can. But their up first is very difficult heroes also, with the Bounty Hunter being the last pick up for MTW. That's probably gonna be a solo lane for them. But that's uh, mm -hmm. that's also, I mean, if we look at the, at the next KC's lineup, they have got a lot of squishy heroes as well. And Bounty Hunter is one of those heroes that's going to make sure those squishy heroes go down with a track on their faces, if he can. Definitely. And next KC might have thought about like challenging challenging the hard lane this time because Enigma gets destroyed by Chan in the woods if they face off. And, yeah. But there's also like Sunstrike coming from the mid lane and stuff like that, so they 
might not be exactly sure about that anymore. Yeah, but, that's, yeah. that Sunstrike is going to hit, especially on the lane with the Chaos Knight and the Lina. But yeah. I have to say, this lineup looks a lot more even than the previous one that we saw. So I am happy with that. Yeah, it looks like a better game already. Yep. Honestly. Let's see, uh, for next KZ, KZ, we have Equal on the bottom lane, and he is uh, playing that Queen of Pain, for next KZ on the Radiant side. Stalkat is going to be playing the Windrunner. We're going to have Lucky on the Chen, who's going to see the ward being placed here. So there's the counter ward. So, so that's like 100 gold wasted for the mm -hmm. Dire side. Nice. Uh, a cool down yep. We're going to have uh, Reeves on the Sand King on the top lane together with Mantis, so that's going to be a dual lane indeed. As uh, yeah, Windrunner is looking, actually looking to go middle with uh, Chen in the jungle, and he might go to the Dire jungle also. Mm -hmm. Just uh, just because yeah, of like what you said, he will be able to kill off the uh, Enigma if he runs into him, if he has a creep. At least I expected something great. And on the MTW side, side interestingly enough, we saw Sox playing, see Sox playing the Invoker. Because Sintern is playing the Chaos Knight mid lane alongside the Lina. You can destroy any, any hero mid lane with this combination, just amazing. Yep. Then we have Fancy playing his standard role in, on the hard lane, but this time the Bounty Hunter. Got Kebab on the Lina, joining the Chaos Knight mid, and then there's fucking Matt playing his Enigma, as he always does. Yep, and that's the line for MTW. I mean, yeah, that the middle lane, I mean, Wintrunner, she has a very long range, so she might she might be able to get some farm for herself. But one reality rift, as soon as Chaos Knight is level 2 or level 3, she has to be so careful, because she will be perma-stunned before she dies, and she won't be able to pop off her Wintrunner in time. Denied. Uh, and yeah. Invoker actually decided to go for the quest, at least on level 1. To g give him a lot more survivability at this stage. Getting harassed already a lot here too. Definitely needs it also. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's uh, die from here. Gank. Might yeah. just die. He might indeed die. There we have the Burrow Strike. Arrow can't hit yet, or actually can. And Invoker is probably gonna be the first blood here going towards the Chen as uh, Reeves will be safe. Should be safe. Whoa, or might not be safe. Reeves, what are you doing? Whoo! 25 HP left, pops himself. I thought he could Very walk through the, through the jungle also, but... Yeah, that was a bit risky. In the meantime, though, Mill Lays, Talcat goes down as well. So that was the combination that we set at level 2 indeed. There was a Reality Rift, Stun, and then a uh, Stun from Lina and the Dragon Slave, and that's gonna be the kill. There's there's just, like you said, there's no escaping from it. There's too much burst. I think Devon was actually a bit lucky getting uh, 2 seconds stun as well as a lot of damage on that, so without that he actually might have been able to escape with Windrun after the combo. But yeah, there was the 2 second stun and not the 1 second, so easy frag for them in the end. Yep, and then uh, next KZ learning from uh, MTW of previous game, because the first yep. tower is already down on the favor of uh, next KZ. So and this good is what the dual lane middle actually does to you. you. It's much harder to take tower if you play dual lane mid, because the first hero can come as easily and, you know, it's, it's harder to push the mid lane tower yep. as, a, as opposed to the side lane towers. Double damage. And they're gonna find That's why I actually hate jungle. playing dual lanes middle. I mean, they're great for locking out the mid lane hero as well as taking the runes and stuff, but it's much harder to push out. It looks like uh, there's three versus three dancing around the forest. And actually, next mm. KZ wants to go for this, or at least they're gonna take the farm. Dragon Slave going through, they now know that Lina's there too, Cold Snap landing on the Sand King. He can still Sandstorm and Burst Strike away if he wants to, but there's a Lina that will make sure that uh, Sandstorm won't be uh, enough if he stays in there. Actually goes away, oh nice pause. Nice pause indeed, do yeah. they still have something? Maybe it's the Lina some hits, but she is very far away. And there would be a Malefist, there's still mana for that as well. You can maybe catch the Sand King with the Lina, but Priestess of the Moon as well as the Chan should be safe. Yeah, we neither have boots yet, of course, and actually none of the heroes have boots yet, so it's all going to come down to base movement speed. And Fancy is actually that. getting destroyed on the bot lane. I mean, it's expected melee hero facing the Queen of Pain, but going 2 for 0 against 16 for 8, Ouch. that's kind of harsh. And actually Queen of Pain doesn't have any, any sentry wards yet, so he, he should be able to get like 
it lost it each time he uses the shadow walk and just lost it the creep and shadow walk again. Yeah. Stuff like that, but he's just two for zero that just really harsh on him. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Well, the Scream of Pain, of course, the Queen of Pain also hits on Fancy if he's invisible, so he can't really yeah, get that true. close either. So if she sees that there is a creep low and she is expecting him to pop up, she might just be throwing off her scream and he will not be wanting mm -hmm. to go off uh, his invisibility again. But you're right, yeah. it, sh it should be more than two. I mean, it's oh, only two. Oh, he actually, uh, the reason for that might be he, he bought the Culling Blade and he bought no uh, Stouchel. Stouchel helps you a lot if you're a melee hero. Especially against your like King of Pain, who just uses the Shadow Strike and attacks you a lot. But he doesn't have that. He he bought the Culling Blade because he wanted to eat the tree in the forest. If you look near the tower, near the Radiant Tower, like on the right, there's an there's Eaton Tree where you sh usually hide when you are facing a trial lane because he was expecting a trial lane. Then you just hide there and take some EXP. But there was actually solo Queen of Pain facing him, so. He, he didn't have the stout shield and his trig in the forest isn't really good for anything. So he got demolished. Set for him. But, you know, it's Bounty Hunter. He just needs level 6 and he can come back so easily into the game. Yeah, with that, tr that track, I mean, every, uh, yeah, his whole team can bounce back from that one if uh, if they need it. Because what do you think about Cinderin's position here? Are they going to be able to get a kill with him? Because he is almost full mana. And he is, of course, very fast, fast hero in this game. As in Luna is fast, but she's oh. not in this game. He might actually catch someone, yeah, that's true. He has no boots yet, and there's the leap buff up on the Mirana as well as the Tren. Yeah. So th they're slightly faster than usually. But, but still, Chaos Knight's slightly faster, anyway. Yeah, so he might get something. Yeah? It's the Sand it's a good King. Position. Where is the Sand King gonna go then? He doesn't have a stand Sandstorm anymore for another 40 seconds. He doesn't have a TP. Mm -hmm. He's probably gonna die. an easy choice. If he had the TP, he could just barrel strike in the top for us and TP out. Or at least try it. But now he just needs to run straight. Like, uh, you can't really see what they write on the mini web, right? So, nope. there's no reason. He just needs to run straight and try to dodge the sh stun from the Lina, maybe. Yeah, maybe you go for uh, for the secret shop and then burrow strike in the forest if he wants to. Uh, and yes. of course buy up uh, TP before he does that. But then there will what? still be the Lina stun if she's fast enough. Mm -hmm. What next says he needs to be careful about is not losing all of the heroes. M maybe just suicide the Sun King a bit. So maybe even stun the Lina so they can't catch them out. I'm not sure about uh, if they are uh, cautious. I'm, I mean, if they know about the Chaos Knight incoming, they probably they know that he's missing. And they have got no. a ward close by. Mm -hmm. so, so if they know about that, then maybe Sand King just should suicide so they can't really follow up on him. But he can actually kill the Chen solo at this at this point. Yeah. So we'll see about how this plays out. Yeah, because Sand King also got a leap buff, by the way. So he'll be some uh, mm -hmm. what speed sped up uh, as well. But it really will depend on... on on the movement speed. And indeed, for next KZ, if they think like, okay, Sand King is not going to get out of this one, if they already accept that, then he might turn around to try to delay them from chasing the rest. Mm -hmm. And then all exactly. they need to deal with is the is this Chaos Knight. And if he gets lucky stun up, that might not end well. What are they talking about? Uh, the Heroes of New York. Kebba was playing Heroes of New World a lot, so he knows something. I, I'm not if Equal is like just joking around about playing Han, but maybe he knows. I actually need to go AFK for a while now. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna drink some water. As I, well, I just show, showed you that the, the graphs. I mean, this is the tower that just dropped for the rest of farm. It's just very even from both sides. I mean, Queen of Pain doing very good in the bottom lane, and in the meantime, Chaos Knight doing very good in the middle in the middle lane, and top lane, of course, yeah, Mirana nine for two. She did not get that much last hits on creeps, but she did definitely get the the tower, and uh, yeah, that, that's just it's just very even still. Two last hits for the Invoker, and it looks like I guess he decided not to change PC, so it will take a bit more time. Come back. Okay, welcome back. Nothing changed.
Other than that, we know that it's gonna take a bit more time, still. Okay, cool. Comment ça va? Ça va bien! On entend, it's like waiting, maybe. Can you, can you speak French? On entend. I... I had French lessons during my high school, like, for six years, but... Me too. There, there, there had been a lot of problems with our teachers as well as with the like the attitude in the class. So, so I didn't no. really remember that much. And <laughs> no. yeah, yeah, like first teacher just learned, you know, the name of the animals and just didn't really care. Then the second one actually believed we learned something and tried to learn something to us and teach. And then, then she had a stroke and actually died. So we didn't have what? a French teacher had for like the our French teacher had a stroke and died. Oh wow! And then we hadn't have a like for a while French teacher. Then then another teacher came, which was actually pretty good, but she believed we actually know something for the from the previous three years, but we didn't really. So she couldn't really teach us that much. It it like it's a very complicated language, but once you learn it, I think it could be really cool. Yeah. I can I can order bread. I'm happy. Oh yeah. That's about it. But I and and I can say como se va. Ça va okay, bien. I can say the basic, but je m'appelle je m'appelle Yuri. Ah, je m'appelle. Mhm. Mm I can say how old I am. Oh, I don't know if you can say the number actually. Fantasia, fantasia, I guess. One. What number want you to say? Twenty-seven. It's like went a set. Yeah, like that's that. what I said. It's a very sad, but like in you know with an accent. Have, you know, you you swallow a like, lot of letters. They have very very weird like word for eighty and ninety. It's like four times twenty, so they're yeah. like quatre vingt. Uh, like quatre vingt is ninety. Yeah, that's, that's really that's really stupid <laughs> if you ask me. I find it really it's funny. Ridiculous. I find it really funny. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's easy to understand, and then then you know you can just call everything, because you, you, you only have to learn like one to twenty, and then from that point onward, it's only gonna be, you know, in multipliers of twenty. Maybe, yeah. Kind well, of. it's much longer. Yeah. Than true. just saying like, I don't know what should be the word for nineteen French language, and I don't really want to know, but. Nineteen. Ninety. Ninety. There was like a normal word. How how oh, it did, how oh, it yeah. sounds. Um, we have got oh MTW now needs a break for one minute. Okay, they they they're thinking about the strategy. Do you think they're thinking like okay, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Yeah, maybe their French senses are just tingling. Is somebody talking about the French language? I need to check this out. <laughs> and they're just checking. Yeah. Oh. Kebab doesn't work in real life. Is that the reason? That does that doesn't sound like a reason why we would be slower with the delay. Oh well, why there would be a delay even more. Anyway, we'll see. So, are we expecting the Sand King to go down? Yes or no? Are you expecting? Excuse me. Are you expecting the Sand King to I'm go down? I'm expecting the Sand King to die, and Mirana and Chen to leave. Well, we'll see it because we're gonna unpause. There they go, and there's an arrow, nice one, hits on the Lina, and well. here comes the Chaos Knight as well. We'll be able to land the sun and the reality rift if he wants to. Pearl Strike and a meter from the Sand King. Three seconds long, landing on Marana, but Marana is just gonna continue running away. Reality rift there as well, Cold Snap, Marana is gonna go down and for sure. Last hit goes to Lina, and it was Sand King that actually managed to get away there uh, as he got sent home by the Tien, because mm. we forgot about that. It was actually played out, played out really well by next KC. Almost saving all of their heroes. Sadly, there was a three second stun up on the Mirana, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, three seconds. That's so the most you them can get at that level. Again, if, if that was one second stun, it, he might have been able to leave. Yeah. But it wasn't. No, it was, the, it, it, it was in time for the Invoker to get out the, the Cold Snap, and that was, uh, that was um, it. And the bot lane, Fancy is probably dead right now. Uh, Bar strike there, there's the dust as well. Scream, Shadow Strike, last hit, Sand King. Kill on the Bounty Hunter. And next KZ, just uh, making sure they are keeping the kill score even. 
This is now two for two. He, he got four actual CS under the tower, the bounty hunter, he was six or zero, so he can now afford the boots at least. Still no stout shield, I'm kind of... Well, m maybe it's not good anymore, but it's a really good item to have on melee heroes, especially like bounty hunter. True. Is, is your gold craft bug, by the way? Let me check. Oh, oh well. I don't know. It's yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, but the difference is shown probably exactly probably as it is at this yeah. stage. Yeah. And and with one tower in favor, I mean that's that's basically the tower right there that we see the the gold difference be. I have to say, Sindarin is being very uh very careless. Well, well, he just know that Sun King did pick up an invisibility room, but he doesn't really seem to care. He's quite confident in his uh, in his lane, of course, rightfully so. And it's going to be Fancy yeah, that's going to be the target once again. Fancy is the, the easiest one. target target right now, so... Might as well kill him off a few times. Yeah, and and maybe even get a tower on top of that. Uh, well, the Chen is standing by, ready with his Troll Warlord. No Fancy. Puff the dust, and there's the ward as well, the dust! Burst Strike actually is oh, not oh. hitting, there's the web helping out there, will be enough though. Just the face. He's just running. He got boots. He's fine. A lot of mistakes, but next case in those that one. I mean, yeah. Burrow Strike didn't hit, and Queen of Pen actually not using her Shadow Strike, which gives a lot of slow. It's one of the best slows on level one. And yeah, just Fancy must feel really happy right now about escaping this one. Yeah, he's gonna celebrate maybe with the kill up on Stalkat. And there is a uh, blink out. That. It's a great positioning from him. Doesn't have mana for another share controls, but uh, we'll have it shortly. Just five to five mana. Oh, the tower actually saw him. Those trees are <laughs> getting chipped away. Is it enough there? Does he still want to go for that? He's just sticking around there. Stalker now knows that he's there. But NTW, Sinner, and Alina backing out. There goes the share controls, but Windrunner should be safe. Fancy just trolling around a bit, I guess. Yeah, kind of wasting his time Very there, big. and also making the experience being shared up between three people rather than two. It's gonna be Chaos Knight still at level five, Lena at level four. That's uh. Yeah, sometimes what happens if you play Bounty Hunter, use the use the walk, and it's fairly long. I mean, the shadow walk, especially in high level. So on the early levels, you kind of like just stand there and don't expect it to run off, and you actually did. Yeah. Didn't really watch the, you know the timing of the spell. So then he just was like, okay, she sees me, I might just well, throw a bit around here. Just stand here for a while. Mm -hmm. But who knows, yeah, it's, he's a French guy, so... <laughs> yeah. Might who be really something very French weird guy. going on. We have a smoke up on the middle lane, by the way. And the Chen and the Sand King, Reality Rift there, though, Shackle latching between two! Great Shackle, Burst like hits onto his own power shot going to two! It's gonna be Chen that takes care of the Chaos Knight, and it's gonna be Lina that's gonna be on the run. No more mana left on the Sand King, so they won't go for anything else anymore. And Sunstrike did not do uh, anything there, but what a great shackle that was! And a level two shackle over that range, quite impressive. But of course, also the Reality Rift helping out there. I guess they just initiated at the same time. Yeah, and great play by Next Kizzy to counter gank this. I mean, it's the kill on the Chaos Knight is like very good at this moment. It wasn't the first time he died as well, so definitely mm. solid. Uh, Winter got 1k gold, it's gonna go for face boots, pick, th pick those up right now. And actually Queen of Pain! Look at her items, and then look at her gold. Yes. Like, she has not bought boots front, yet, oh, 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 she bought stuff. Uh, from can the just go for the Necromonicon. Yeah, she went for the Perseverance. So she's gonna oh. go for that Linkus here, most likely. Mm -hmm. Just to stop those stuns from happening, dust going off there. Bounty Hunter, can he get away from this location if he wants to? Yes, he can, but he won't be able to because he is dead. I Queen of Pain taking the last hit. Yep, that, that would be a very, very early Lincoln. Yeah. For her. She, she might still go like Bloodstone, but doesn't look like it should actually go for them. No, Lincoln would be such a great item here. I mean, there is, a, there is a lot that can be stopped by that, and a lot of stuns as well. And yep. that's going to be painful for the Queen of Pain, those stuns. So just being able to block those out is just a massive advantage for her, indeed. As you probably so much CS, I mean, like, sorry. creep kills as well as D9. Only Chaos yeah. Knight is close. I mean, 52 for 37, really. 
Mikhail, Nigma is actually pretty close at 55, but not a lot, not on the nice though, but uh, just on last hits. But of course, those it's are jungle the, heroes as well. Yeah, jungle creeps. So it's uh, it's a bit colored. Okay, it's at 44. Three heroes farming uh, quite nicely on MTW though, and uh, four heroes farming nicely on uh, on XKZ. Just needs to be uh, mentioned. And Chen actually the one with already two kills in his pocket as well. And it, it all comes down to Fancy just having a really bad lane. Yeah. He just eight for zero while the kind of solo heroes in the next case it, uh, next case that are at least thirty all of them. Yeah, but he is uh, he is level six now and we see him moving towards the middle lane. Yep. It's gonna be uh Bucking Mad that's gonna be here too. And he is gonna go for uh for the tower. They wanna go for the tower or wanna take a fight. As soon as the track is up they wanna take a kill. They need to take a kill, get that gold up. Yeah, it's only way for Sansi to come back in this game. He can't really stand on any line at this moment because, you know, every hero obliterates him from Mirana, Queen of Pain or, or the Windrunner. They just destroy him because he has no survivab survivability and no stout shield as well as I was talking about before. Mm -hmm. Just kill them so fast with the attack. Might snatch a frag on Mirana right now together with Invoker. Yeah, let's see if they're gonna do it though. Sunstrike is oh, gonna wow. hit. Actually, wow, walks right into them. And Leap was okay. perfect, but the tr well, sure, Contos will still change that. And that was actually a first track kill being done there. So extra gold for MTW. And that's gonna be, hopefully, for them the start of uh, of extra gold for everybody the whole time. This is like the worst Sunstrike I ever saw turned into the best one. Yep. It's like, yep. Sox is probably like, oh, I expected that. I expected him to move right back into yep. it. Yep, but that's, that's what I was going to say. It was all intended. Another track up on the wind runner. Yeah. I mean, he, he wanted to run back with that... Uh, well, when when Evoker started moving a bit forward, but then he saw the... <laughs> then he saw the bounty hunter walk right back into the sun strike again. That's quite entertaining. It's really, really weird. <laughs> like, well, a good, good frag from TW. It's a track frag as well. Mm-hmm. So and they're gonna try and to either push the tower or take kills. It's gonna be either one of those. And equal actually buying up the power threats and not going for like a super fast Lincolns. And that indicates he would like to help his team before he's getting the Lincolns. Because he kind of need the boots to be able to be really, really powerful early on. Yeah, and Chen has his mechanism now, it will make a big difference if they are indeed going to be forcing a team fight from uh, MTW. There's going to be a surprise, um, or surprise mechanism up uh, on the di on the radiant side, mm. and that will help them out massively. As we have got Stan King. Oh, you gonna see the courier? No, nope, he's backing out. He saw the courier though, but yeah. the well, the Eidolons made him change his mind. And of he has it much faster than the Enigma does the mech because Enigma actually went for power threats as well as the Soul Ring. And they killed off the top tower as well, so that helps him a lot. Yeah. And he doesn't really need the soul ring as the Enigma does, and he opted for the portals as well as I said. So yeah, they they might take advantage of that, seeing as there's no mech up on the MTW side. Although nice case he needs to defend this top tower. It's, it's it would be such a free tower right now. Yeah, it's very low on HP as well. And uh, no oh, wow. A healing hand, hand of God, black hole actually catches two hero here of next KZ. Decipate is not gonna stop Enigma from there. Uh, he might still go down though. Couple of life for us, right clicks needed. And it's gonna be Stalker that's gonna try to do that, but gets stunned for three seconds. And it's gonna be Chaos Knight and will still get, still get taken down by Equal, who is on the chase. Blinks, screams, gets a double kill. Enigma going down three down on the side of MTW right now. As we have two very low heroes up on next KZ side, both Sand King as well. As the wind runner starting, he actually uses epicenter in that sun strike. Is not going to hit on Reeves, unfortunately for uh, Invoker. And the tower is getting pressured. And who were the first uh, first two to go down? By the way, I missed that. It was Alina and someone else? Oh, oh Queen of Pain prob probably because she bought. I saw her buying back. Ah, uh, this I believe so. Yeah, Queen of Pain buying back. Sun, Chen. Getting stunned by Lina as well, and he will be going down. Lina's Dragon Slave ending it, and it's gonna be uh, Sonic Wave finishing up the Lina. Equal did still have mana for that, and is on the chase. Yep. Gonna be two seconds stun. Sun Strike not hitting. Cool Snap hits though, and Equal getting taken down here for the second time. And that buyback, I, I mean, she did get three kills in, in between, I guess, but 
She's uh, gonna be dead for another 40 seconds, and that's just painful. Mm -hmm. And she swapped his uh, power threads too late. I mean, he was missing like 10 mana for the blink, so he needed to swap the power thread. Yeah, that's as he's talking right now. Yeah. And then, then he when he actually swapped it, it called snap was up on him, so he wasn't able to blink out. Also, a little bit of payback coming out of uh, the equal on Kebab because he used the Laguna Blade to kill him off before. Yeah. Then he just <laughs> was killed off by the Sonic Wave out of from the King of Pain. LT versus Which LT. wasn't worth in the end. For no, a Lina kill is not uh, is not worth dying for in indeed. Lina, who actually has three kills for herself. Oh, this is a very dangerous rune here. Invisibility to run up on the Chaos Knight, and he's looking for the for the Mirana. I mean, they don't have any wards up. I actually, neither team has wards up. That's quite surprising. So he doesn't know he picked that up, but he's uh, he's not gonna be able to find a kill just yet. Not just yet. Still wants it though. Oh, hello, Mirana. There we go. Two seconds still landing. Soundstrike as well. Uh, Soundstrike is actually not hitting. Reality Rift is still there if he wants to, but he's not gonna be able to do that. Queen of Pain blinking in, Arrow is not gonna hit, Shackle not latching, there's Lina as well. Stun is not hitting, TP out, will be in time. No kills being Shackle's, done. Shackle's actually really close to Shackle both Lina, Chaos Knight, that would be disaster for them. Well, this one was really far away, on the other hand. But yeah, the first one was actually, if he hit the Lina with that, as well as the Chaos Knight, that would be huge for next case, but he didn't. Needed millimeters and the bot lane, the fancy. Yeah, I have to to be usually taken down, Sand King taken the last hit. And they didn't even yeah, use dust for that, knowing that he would not be able to go anywhere. Fancy decided to go for the medallion, so they might take Roshan somehow fast in this game, yeah. but oh. it gives him no survivability. Yeah, let's rip four seconds on Chen, getting taken down here very fast, Enigma taking the last hit. It did buy enough time for Morana to get away as well for the Sand King who, is, uh, who had TP down or actually was sent back by the Chen. So that is something, but uh, wow. And Chen has to pay for that with his creeps as well. But at least he saved his yep. teammate. He definitely did. And the range on the drill at Rift, I mean, it's just ridiculous, like 700. And just He took him back so far. Wouldn't even matter in this case, but still, it's such a strong spell. We haven't got a tier 1 tower dropping here now. Last tier 1 tower on the side of next KZ dropping to the Chaos Knight, giving him extra gold. Let's see what he has so far. Looks like he might be building towards uh, a BKB, which is actually a very good item for him to have, just because there's a lot of magical magical damage out coming from next KZ. A sonic wave as well as the yeah, epicenter, and he just wants to be able to stay alive and uh, do his thing in the meantime. I'm not a fan of BKB upon Chaos Knight, but it might prove to be a good item here. You'll see about it. Marana's ultimate juice, they want to go for this. They don't have an epicenter anymore. Shackle's not latching, and that actually might uh, decide them. Yeah, they're gonna go back. Burst Strike still uh, hitting four seconds. Stun them on the stand. He will be sent back in time. No, he's not. He will be taken down here. Arrow from Marana coming in from the side. Shackle is latching this time up on the Bounty Hunter. Sonic Wave going through to three heroes, and Queen of Pain blinking after taking a kill. Might take more if she gonna take this Invoker kill, I'm not sure. No, she is not. She is down in poker. Taking the last hit. Black hole being counted. Only catch the Chen. And wait for the from behind. Making sure that it doesn't get channeled anymore. Takes him down with the power shot. Getting a double kill for it. It's gonna be Bounty on the that's gonna be on the run as well as the Invoker who already was home. And that is definitely a fight the next case he took successfully. Only losing uh, the Queen of Pain as well as the Sand King. Did the Sand King buy back? Actually, no, he was just uh, not at a high level, so... I think the Windrunner, Windrunner might have brought back. Did she die then? Didn't she? She died in the beginning, right? No, that was the like... Sand King. Mm, okay. She did not buy back, but at least, if she did buy. I, I, I think MGW should be really happy about that outcome. It could be much worse. Because the Queen of Pain ultimate landed perfectly, and yeah. as well as her Scream of Pain, you know? And fancy. Yes, yeah. Epis Burst like Epicenter once again. Fancy is not having a fun game. He died four times so far. I mean, he still he got some track uh, track kills, but uh, yeah, not not really uh, as much as he probably would have wanted to do. He, he needs to he needs to boost his HP at least a bit with Bracer to go into the drums or something like that. Yeah, maybe because he's so raw right now. Maybe. Yeah, just uh, for the epicenter, if he's gonna take that more. At least the power threat. 
I mean, he would actually live through this if he had more HP because there's no detection upon something. Uh, he has a dust still if he wants to. Oh, he does. Cool. I'm sorry about that. No, uh, he was. Uh, he just chose not to to use it because so far the last mm -hmm. two times yeah. he used the epicenter, both to kill off Fonzie actually. Um, he was dead before uh, before he needed it. So, uh, being quite confident in the damage that he is out, he's putting out. And uh, Chen with no mana on his way to the bottom lane. They're gonna probably try to push down this uh, last year one tower from MTW. Burst strike there. Shackle lands. Power shot going through. And there goes the Kale Knight. Quick, clean kill. Winter on taking the last hit. There was no chance. Still a good kill. Because they will get a tower on top of that as well. Might get two as well. Yeah, MTW is not really uh, doing anything yet. What's Fancy doing chasing this Queen of Pain? I mean, Queen of Pain is level 14, Fancy is level 9. He is not going to be able to kill her off. It's quite surprising. Yeah, we actually have two heroes now from MTW on this uh, bottom lane. They want to take down, uh, make sure that pushing is not happening, and successfully so. Because the side of an invoker will make sure that uh, next KZ is backing off. All three heroes. Yep. And he's actually kind of close to the hex if he decides to go for it, the invoker. Wow, yeah, And okay, Queen of there. Pain has her Lincolns completed right now. And he bought a cloak as well. Or mm -hmm. someone did. Who did? Probably Queen of Pain, yeah, she did. Oh. Yeah, picked up a cloak indeed. And you've got an invoker in picking up a TP scroll, and now indeed is gonna go for the Mystic Staff, making sure that the donkey flew all the way for nothing because. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Because he didn't have space for the TP scroll, sorry. And that threads up for the bounty hunter finally. Finally, the also next HP. I wonder if he's gonna be able to stay alive though. I mean, he's still level 10. First, the Sand King that's oh, also level 10, almost level 11. So, with the level 2 ultimate, might still have the same outcome as before, though. Shadow Strike, Chaos Knight backing off. Queen of Pain doesn't want to. You also see four staff upon the Windrunner, which mm -hmm. we didn't talk about, but it's pretty standard. And Mirana goes for Yasha, so probably Mantis style. Yep, this time know. around, cool choice against Bounty Hunter, just to. Erase the track from him, for example. Yep, and uh, just to have some extra illusion as well. I mean, she wants to copy the Chaos Knight. He has Phantasm, mm. she has a Met style. Now, of course not, but yeah. Yep. Just a nice item to have. And we do have uh, wards up. Actually, I like that this uh, Sentry Ward is not countering that uh, ward that they have there. So that's quite funny. And uh, hey. Link there up for the Sun King. And it looks like I they want to use it instantly. They want to push out, a t force out a team fight on the bottom lane. Here comes the Sand King. He's gonna stand in the back. Structures mm -hmm. Oh, look at look at this! I I do like Sand King being played. Yeah, he's a fun hero. Definitely not okay. going through. Right. Let's see. Let's see about them. Yeah, the there's center. there's the challenge. Go. There's the blink for a strike. And I'm going through. There goes the right. Enigma. There goes Kebab. Actually, having to back off their Chaos Knight. Still trying to kill off the Marana. Cold Snap at 3 seconds still landing on the Marana, but the mechanism will help her stay alive as Marana will back out. Chaos Knight dying to the wind on a power shot, and Chen takes down the Invoker. We have Queen of Pain down up on the Radiant side, but 3 down, 4 MTW so far, and they might be able to push into the tier 3 tower right now. Marana will be sent home. Should be safe. Radiant's top tower is under uh, attack. Gr great epicenter by the Sand King, stunning the right targets. There was no way that Enigma could pull his black hole off. Yeah. And then as well as great power shot in the end of the fight. The CK almost escaped, but the like power shot came and killed him off. Mm -hmm. Lina tipped it out, which is lucky for MTW to have at least you know Lina <laughs> survive. They, they was, had the really, to really cool. as well, so. Yeah. Bounty Hunter by himself. Well, we we saw that earlier. He was not a, he's not able to do anything yet for himself. He needs that help from his team. Uh, at least they killed off the Queen of Pain, so that is something. Mm -hmm. They got something in return, which they pro which I I think they should be happy about. Definitely because it was it was a surprise link dagger. They thought he wasn't there. They thought they didn't have to worry about it. Like we don't see him, so no epicenter. But uh, it could have gone worse. It could have gone into team wipe. Of course, Definitely. it could have gone better too if, they had, if there was a black I'm not, not exactly sure why MTW took this fight. I mean, they already lost the tower, so there was nothing they had to fight about. They didn't know about the blink camp. I, at least I think so. So, at least they know now. <laughs> Without the blink, <laughs> they, they definitely could win the fight. 
Yeah, without the blink dagger, everything would have been cha would have changed. They would they would have probably come came out ahead then in that case, especially if they were able to get the black hole and they already killed off the queen of pain at the start of the fight. Did did Queen of Pain just bought the Basilius or did he have it before? I'm not exactly sure. I mean, like, I think he bought it. Bought it, right? Like 23 minutes Basilius, it it can work out. It gives armor, which is great. He might have had it though. If someone know, someone knows, write it in the chat, please. But I I just saw it appearing in her inventory while he was in the base. So I'm thinking he might have just bought it to give the armor aura to his team. Yep, could be. Oh, Cinderin thought it was a real Sand King, but it was mm. not. Oh, Cinderin. Yeah. And, and he's, fake yeah, he's going for that BK. Oh, next fight though, there will be an Evoker. Side of Vice is complete, so he will have that one, and that will be that will be something that will change the team fight around as well. I mean, that could have almost as big impact as a Blink Dagger up on the Sand King. Maybe not as much, but still quite some, even though if he, sh if he shows himself now, it will be uh, visible. Oh, pause. In the meantime, when we have a message we save putting out uh, or being chased, chasing down the bounty hunter. Sorry, what is up? Mental style up on the Mirana. Good one. We have every uh, every uh, everyone is kind of finishing off their items. Of course, Windrunner mm -hmm. is still uh, building towards her sheep sick, but she will not have that up for a while, unless they're gonna be able to take some team fights. Chaos Knight still not has his BKB. He is he is really having a tough time. I mean, he died five times, has only got one kill so far, uh, has been in eight of the ten kills that they have done though. So that is a good one. But mm -hmm. last hit white. I mean, he still needs that 500 extra gold for that for that BKB, and that's that might uh, well. It's it's a very late BKB if that's his for that's his first item that he's going for. It's like. Chaos Knight, the reality rift is great, but if you use it, then you kind of have to commit. So he tends to die a lot in the early game when he doesn't have a lot of HP yet. Yeah. I mean, he has a lot of HP, but not enough to live through all of this. So if he starts off the fight with the reality rift, then a lot of focus comes down on him and then he dies. And there's another tower up on for the next case. Yep. Dyer's yep. Middle tower Easy one. Easy one indeed, as they might uh, be thinking about the last year to tower there. The the blink came out from uh from the wind runner. As they pop the smoke, maybe trying to get some uh, some stray that is gonna continue farming somewhere, like the bounty hunt for example. And they have a ward I up there, so he thinks he's safe. I think I actually saw only one black hole this game in the mid lane, which was kind of a waste. Yeah, burns so like that. Okay, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yep. So MTW might just need that one good black hole, or at least a solid black hole, or yeah. any black hole at all. Th they they I need that, that that fight, preferably three on five, where they're the five and the opponent is three. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and then and then indeed catch them all in the black hole and have all the damage because they they can do that. That's what a black hole is for. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be scouted out for this Roshan though. Here comes the Fort Spirit. Meteor coming down as well. Dragon Blade killing off the one Wildkin. Burrow Strike though. No. Invoker, Shadow Strike. Arrow hitting, killing it off. Mirana taking the kill. That'll teach him from getting close to their Roshan. And that will give Definitely. them a free Roshan as well. Because without the Invoker, I mean, they can't really do anything. He used his Sheepstick also. Oh, what? What did I just say, Lena? <laughs> what, what was she doing there all by herself? What was she thinking? Getting shackled at the same just spot as the Invoker did, also. MTW just making all of unnecessary mistakes for, like, no reason. And it just shows that maybe they are not that confident with playing this kind of picks. I mean, I saw Cinderon playing Chaos Knight a few times, but I never saw Sox playing uh, Invoker. And you know, only only fucking man is on the hero. We saw him play a lot. I mean, if, if they pick the bounty hunter, then Fancy is obviously the one who's plays it, but they don't play him as often, or at least I didn't see them. Well, what of course so of course could be something. I mean, they won the first game really, really fast and really mm -hmm. convincingly, and there was really nothing that yeah. that next case he could do. So maybe they felt like, okay, so we're gonna see this maybe more in some practice because we want to try out something new, and this team doesn't seem like it's gonna prove much of an opponent. Uh, are gonna prove to be much of an opponent to us, so we're just gonna try something new and use it as practice rather than anything else. And in this case, it didn't really work out so might far. It might steal, though. It might steal. Mm -hmm. It's 
they get the solid turtle heroes like Enigma when you can really go in, into the base to that like choke point. And yeah, they, they have also a great late game hero in the Chaos Knight if they want. Invoker spells are great for turtling as well, so they might still easily win this if they want to. But they, they need to avoid the mistakes like getting randomly like, picked off in the road. Pit, yeah. Stuff like that. And just walking on one by one, that doesn't really help. At least Chaos Knight has a DKB done, so he will be able to walk into the scene fight like he wants to and actually stay alive this time. Mm -hmm. But that will make a big difference. I'm really curious if they're gonna actually have another forced team fight though. Because DKB will be up on Bounty Hunter as well, and I don't think MTW wants to be the one to force out the team fight. And next KZ clearly had the advantage in the previous one because there was a surprise blink dagger. But right now, I mean, their blink dagger has been spotted, so they know that they are no longer having that advantage. And in that case, they might just decide, okay, it's, it's too risky, we're just gonna wait until it comes to us. And we're gonna be confident that we can take the late game because we got a Queen of Pain and a Marana and a Windrunner with the potential to semi carry. Yes. Well, the Dire side only has a Bounty Hunter that's on the farmed, but has his BKB now, now, so that's something. And a Chaos Knight that's on the farmed. Mm -hmm. they, they can definitely take the late game as well. It all depends on the items with these pigs at least. And we saw four stuff being bring to Chan, so he has the four stuff now. Nice. As well as the side of Vice upon the Windrunner and look what you know Pain goes for, which is quite amazing. We might finally see a Skadi. Oh, a Skadi Queen of Pain. I don't think I've seen them before. Yeah. Really? It's like, it was kind of a common item like earlier. Yeah, but I wasn't no, not lately, but you know, like a few years back. It's yeah. like one of the best items on her. I was not aware of any competitive Dota going on then. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, well, it will be interesting to see. And she she does have, she just does have to farm for it. I mean, look at her farm still. Still highest uh, yeah. up on the map. Next to Enigma, of course, but still Enigma also uh, jungle creep, so I can't really compare it to that all that much. But uh, 191, 92 <laughs> creeps killed so far. And, uh, yeah, just gonna add some more with that. Yeah, there are three BKBs up on MTW right now. An Enigma, a Bounty Hunter, as well as the Chaos Knight. So, they might be confident to take a, like a def defensive mass fight near their tower. We see about that. Yep. But they, they might not know about Three the generous. side of Ice. Maybe now they do. But if you can actually initiate with side of Ice on a hero with BKB, you can kill him off while he's under the effect of the Hex. What is uh, what's Sun King doing? They know he's there. Tower is under attack. Is he just sitting, hoping that Turning he can get on. a team fight going there, hoping that he's yep. in the right spot? Well, uh, it's kind of a you saw him no. going there though. Oh, oh now being turned to Piglet, it's gonna be the wind from the deafening blast going through as well. Oh, well that spot, and he still gets picked off. Sand in the meantime coming in, killing off the Enigma. Lina's gonna get picked up by the Queen of Pain. Has Marana's ultimate, but that look at that Chaos Knight. He's just big, he's tanky, he is trapped, he is dead, actually. Marana making sure that happens. Leaping away, gonna try to chase down the Invoke who makes himself invisible, is invisible, but there's a dust. And that's gonna be a kill. One more right click and Marana takes another kill. And Epicenter was not even used for that fight. And it's four heroes down for MTW. And they only got the Windrunner, which was the one hero they initiated on in the first place. But the one hero that was packed. Actually, wow, Funzy. Oh, Last one alive. Arrow is not hitting. There is no more dust. So he is gonna be uh, out of there safe. But uh, definitely not a fight that MTW was, uh, was hoping for. They did not use the black hole once again. Because the team fight was just so very spread out. I mean, they knew where to not take the team fight. They were actually the one to initiate, but just no, just no. Anything you want to share about that team fight? Still there? Um, I'm sorry, I need to talk with someone for a while. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, the, the team fight. Some some things happened that I was talking about. First of all, the hex upon the Enigma. So. Yeah, and Fancy's dead, well, maybe. Yeah, he filled up his BKB, might still try to do something, but gets picked off by the Marana once again. Right click damage will not uh, be stopped by BKB. Reality Drift in the meantime, on the Queen of Pain, 4 seconds done. Gets turned to a Piglet as well, 4 step forward though. Arrow landing on the Chaos Knight. Queen of Pain still being able to blink away out of there as the Sunstrike is not gonna hit. 
And Marana picks up an MKB as MTW chases down the Chen. I think they will be fine though, even though Syndrome is of course a lot faster. But uh, yeah, just for a Chen, you don't want to risk being uh, caught out and the rest of his team is no longer there to uh, catch him out. So no extra kill for MTW, even though the last kill that was not done in the team fight earlier was still done by NextKZ. They managed to pick up the Bounty Hunter, which was the only yep. one that didn't die there. And Skadi is now up on Queen of Pain, awesome. As, as well as the MKB up on Mirana, so their big heroes are getting really huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yet the last match that we were talking about that MTW really, really needs that black hole. And uh, as well about the fact that if you get hexed before you use your BKB, then it's kind of worthless if they manage to kill you. And he wasn't even just hexed, he also got arrowed while he was hexed. It was a really close arrow, but a good one. Yeah. So they killed him off because before he used his black hole. And Chaos Knight actually used his BKB in that fight, but he's all about his illusions, and actually they don't get the BKB. That's why I didn't don't really like BKB up on the Chaos Knight. I prefer to boost my illusions with, you know, strength items and stuff like that. Yeah. Just pure uh, so, item. so he lost his illusions pretty fast, or at least I believe so. He, he wasn't able to dish out the damage in the end. So, and he died in the BKB just from the right click attacks from the opponent. Yeah, from Arana, just, making just sure that those BKBs uh, don't mean anything to her. I mean, look at her. She yeah. has got the ages yep. as well, that has not been used yet. Is uh, really, uh, yeah. Is now, is now the MKB to disrupt the Enigma's black hole if he wants to, even through the BKB. Mm -hmm. I think it, uh, or at least I think it goes to the BKB, it should. It does, it does. You have to be lucky with that, th though. Of course. Well, it's... It's a lot of percentages. Oh, fancy. Man. Man. You would want to forget about this game really soon, I guess. Yeah, I think so, too. At least, wow, okay. This might make, this might make mean a difference. We have got Enigma picking up a Blink Dagger. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yes, whoa, 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 Jen position. going down to the Lina, actually using a, using a Laguna Blade for that. Looks like Invoker's gonna pay for that with a life, though. Sonic Wave, Shackle, Shokska is going down. And maybe Lina will go down here as well, because Marana has that here coming in from the side. There goes Lina, Burstrike still hitting on the Kale Knight. Kale Knight's not gonna be able to get out from that one. Sandkin taking the last hit, four heroes down for MTW once again, and this time it's only Enigma left alive, so he might be able to get a black hole off, but there will be nobody to do the damage. Skadi is actually a great item to have against the BKB because he actually slowed through it. And Ecole is so tanky right now with his item build that he picked up the gem as well. So no invisibility for Bounty Hunter or the Invoker. Good, good item choice and it looks extremely good for the next case. You might see a GG very soon. Yeah, if there have, isn't uh, like a perfect black hole. I haven't seen that, I haven't checked the gold crafts in a while because it's, it's been so clear into next because he's advanced. Whoa, Shackle doesn't let Burst Strikes hits on two though. And Nick power shot, he wants to do his black hole, gets a black hole, only gets fun though before he goes down to the Queen of Pain. There goes Marana as well, but she has the Aegis, so she will be up again doing that damage that she wants. And uh, will, oh, actually gets a three seconds up on her burst. I go through Hand of God, power shot hits two. Bounty Hunter, the only one left alive here, is going down as well. Double kill for Queen of Pain. They're gonna chase down the Lina next. Look at that damage by Queen of Pain as well. And there she goes, getting a triple kill. And that's gonna be a poker. Left alive, only one of us team. Power shot. Queen of Pain, ultra kill for her. And there's the GG, well, as you said. As we saw, the Scuddy power right there. Yep. Ultra kill. Easy. Definitely. 4k gold up her already as well with that ultra kill and I have to say I mean I was not expecting this to happen and and this is I mean we saw now I, I this is the third game today that I saw from next KZ and the first two were without Mantis and that is mm -hmm. just such a massive difference from the from the, the team that I saw the previous yep. two games I mean, the previous they were two games, much more confident yeah they were just there their selves, themselves again able to take down MTW here in uh, this was a by the way this was a goes to league match for the vision one uh, it was a match between uh, NextKZ and MTW. MTW to managed to take one game as well as NextKZ, so they both got one point. And at the end of the season, the team with the most points win, wins, and we will see uh, who that is gonna to, going to be. Uh, my name is Shiver. You can follow me on theshivergaming.com, where you can find my YouTube, my Facebook, and my Twitter, where you can follow, like, and subscribe if you want to. My co-caster is Tulek, and go like him on facebook.com slash mtwtulex. As uh, we will see another game, but you won't be able to be there, will you? Because you have to play yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else to add to this game? Yep, shout out to Mantis. 
supports. Like I, lo I love their pick. I, I have to be honest that I love all their heroes uh, aside from the Chen. I mean, they are fun heroes to play, fun heroes to watch. So thank you for a great game. And yeah, also shout out to MTW Blue for trying something we don't see them that often playing, or at least yet. Yeah. And hopefully it will work out better for them next time. Indeed, indeed so. And we'll leave this end screen up for a little while longer so people can watch that. Uh, by the way, if you want to know more about Ghost League Division 1, uh, go check out ghostgamers.net slash Dota 2 and then there's a link in the top right of the, the venue thing and you could just can see Ghost League Division 1. There's also Division 2 uh, if you want to check more about that, uh, which, uh, for example, Navi is in Division 2, so you might want to check that out as well. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go on to a Division 2 match, actually. It's going to be Infused versus DPP, so stick around for that. As uh, I'm just going to switch over so you don't see a password that was used. Okay, I need to go uh, really fast. Yeah, so thank you for, thank you for me. having me. It was fun.